Five simple things you should carry with you when riding your motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. One thing you should carry that really nobody talks about is a wet rag. It's really good to have. Because this is not only good for your camera to keep it from mud, you know, to take mud off of it on the screen but also mainly to use for your helmet shield because oftentimes mud will fly up on your uh, your windshield your helmet shield should I say and it uh, it's nice to have to clean up man I know oftentimes we have to go to a gas station or whatnot but if you don't have anything while you're riding and you got something that's impeding your vision and then you try to wipe it with your hand and it smudges all over the place and looks horrible. That's how I tell you, carry you a wet rag or like I do, just a paper towel that's damp here. Really comes in handy, man. Number two thing that you should have on your bike is a GPS, man. A dedicated GPS. I'll tell you guys that... I know you're going to say, oh, you carry your phone with you and it's got GPS on it. You don't really, you don't need a GPS on your bike. How often have you got on your bike and you forgot your phone? It happens to all of us, man. And I'm telling you, it's really beneficial to have a dedicated GPS on your bike. I'll tell you guys, one thing that's awesome about having a GPS on your bike is when you get lost and you don't know where the f*** are like I am right now. It's amazing that I've lived most of my life in Ohio, in Cleveland, Ohio, and I still get lost in Cleveland area. <laughs> but luckily I got my GPS on my CBR 1000 double R. You know, oftentimes if you're like me, you'll go out here and just go riding anywhere and kind of go get lost somewhere. You know, that's why I enjoy motorcycles. I just love just going riding and going get lost somewhere and then try to find my way back. And, but it's always cool to have that GPS to hit the home button on there to take me back home. But, but anyways, it brings me to number three is in these times here in 2019, uh, you need a smartwatch, man. You definitely need a standalone smartwatch. Not just any old smartwatch. You need one that has its own cellular radio on it like I have. Right now, I've got a, a Samsung Gear S2 and an S3. And both of them are amazing. I actually prefer my S2 because it's smaller and it does everything I need it to do. But why the reason, number one reason why it's really good to carry a smartphone, not only because it has GPS, it has a cellular radio on it, has everything on there, um, but also because it has a heart rate monitor on there that will alert you if your heart rate goes up, which is can be a lifesaver out here on a motorcycle, man, because if your heart going up a lot of times you don't know it but your smartwatch will alarm will alert you vibrate and alert you and to let you know your heart rate is up you need to pull over man maybe even call the paramedics or something it could just save your life not only that the smartwatch it has you can put multiple credit cards on the watch so you don't have to carry your credit cards or money which I highly recommend you carry money because you never know if your watch battery dies then you screw you definitely want to carry your credit cards and money just in case. But it's nice to be able to get gas and just wipe my watch on the magnetic reader. Stay right on my bike and pump gas into my bike and I'm good. Number four is you want to carry a, a full-time camera on your helmet. You see here, I run two cameras on my Motovlog helmet. This one, this top one here runs all the time, the whole time. And this one I just use for filming my videos. Uh, but this comes in really handy because if something happens out here on the street and you don't have your Motovlog camera on, for those of you that Motovlog, this will catch whatever you missed while not having your GoPro on. Oh! 
Look at that. This came in real handy back in 2012 when this SUV dangerously and illegally passed me on the right hand side that I caught on film and was able to capture his license plate number. So it, believe me, it's come in handy many times. I had both of my cameras running on a, a smart power bank, which is absolutely amazing. It's the best smart bank, a uh, power bank that I've ever had. I'll include a link to that in the description and comment section, which I have in my coat pocket here, uh, jacket pocket, should I say. And uh, so that way it allows me to run it all day long and not have to worry about changing batteries. But anyways, number five, you definitely want to carry your tire patch kit and I have uh, one that's really small and lightweight and you can even carry it in your pocket man and it even has CO2 cartridges and it's really nice it's fairly inexpensive but it's the smallest kit that I could find the other ones are kind of big and bulky check out this new backpack that I just got it actually has a tool storage compartment where this tire repair kit will fit in here real nice see that Bada boom, bada bang. By the way, I'll include a link to this backpack and this tire repair kit in the description and comment section of this video. And stay tuned, I'm going to be doing a full review on this awesome backpack. Believe me guys, it can happen to the best of us out here. I had a bolt uh, that got caught in my tire once. I had a nail that got caught in there. And I rode actually home on a flat <laughs> tire, which I don't recommend because it can damage the rim. And it's not safe. And I wish I'd had that tire patch kit, but you definitely want to carry the stuff. It's nice to carry a backpack uh, with all the emergency items you need. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below and uh, tell me about some other things that you should carry with you on your motorcycle. I know there's a bunch of other stuff out there, too. I've done videos in the past on various stuff you can carry with you. But these are some five odd things that really we don't think about too often but are super ben beneficial for you when riding your motorcycle for those of you guys who want to get the items that i talked about in this video as well as my gear you know my camel pants my gloves boots helmets cameras all my stuff i always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff Big thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.